is friends that don't do nothing. Not saying that they had to, but yeah, nigga, you had to. If you my nigga, you should want to. Right. Like, period. It's fucked up. I gotta go look on the internet and there's a nigga from uh, Germany showing me more love than mine. You know what I'm saying? They on your page and they like really not doing nothing. Like, what the fuck right. you just watching? You in the story, you, you all over the place. Like, homie, show the love. Like, I'm a man of my word, homie. I stand on shit like, you go look at my shit now, I, I probably post things they won't think I'm posting them, but I do that. I don't do that shit for validation. I don't do that shit. I do it because that's with me. That's me. That's what type of nigga I am, bro. I'm set up that way. I don't want nothing back from you. I don't give a fuck if you never speak to me. If I like it, if I fuck with you, I'm going to show you that. That shit is nothing. That shit don't cost nothing. But these niggas make it hard to do this because you know what it is. With a lot of niggas, they be having hidden agendas. Wow, like, homie, what I do to you? Like, what's your deal? Like, I'm working more than you. Like, what is it? I don't understand it. Like. We all the same nigga, like, we, we all, like, human beings, homie. Like, right. niggas just be thinking niggas are tough. Like, I have a heart, too. Like, nigga, like, damn, what I do? Rat does pills and exclusive. Come slide. Joffrey, yo, welcome to the HQ. Welcome to Upstate, bro. Absolutely. Thank you for having me, man. I appreciate it. Big queens in the building. Absolutely. Definitely been wanting to have a conversation with you for the longest. Shout out S. Dot. Mm -hmm. Who's making it happen, man? Absolutely. We here. We here. We here. What we doing? About to get into it, man. Absolutely. Word. Let's start off with uh, what you got going on now, Tiger Tuesdays. How did you come up with that concept, and how you loving the reaction that you're getting from it? Oh, well, basically, I came up with it because I wanted to I try to draw uh, more of a, uh, a broader crowd, like more than just like local. So me and Zeus actually came up with it. I mean, you know, mm -hmm. Zeus actually shoot it for me. That's my motherfucking boy. He more than my cameraman anyway. That's my dog. So, you know, we came up with that, that concept to do the Top Tiger Tuesdays to get, you know what I'm saying, more people drawn into the actual project. So basically what I'm working on is a uh, mixtape, mm -hmm. which is with me and uh, my friend DZ, my son GD. Okay. And we got the Golden Era. It's called Golden Era, the mixtape. So basically what I'm trying to do is just build the content, build the, 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 the fans and get them something to, yep. you know what I'm saying, look forward to work, working up to the album. So basically that's how I came up with it, you know what I'm saying? I actually like it. And it's something different. A lot of niggas is not doing that. Like what I'm actually doing is I'm we doing a video. It's like, you know, some some people they do their freestyles, they do it maybe in a car, they may be mm -hmm. studio, maybe, or a nigga might just do it live somewhere. We actually doing an actual video mm -hmm. freestyle. So that's kind of different. That's like work. Niggas ain't really doing that out here. So like you know I'm saying, I ain't gonna take nothing from nobody. It's niggas that's doing certain shit, but they ain't doing what I'm doing, man. Right. That's how I gotta keep it, period. And you're consistent with it. Absolutely. Dope, dope. You've been doing this this music thing for a minute, like mm -hmm. heavy in Queens, heavy in the whole New York area. Let's talk about how you even started rapping. Like, were, were you rapping from a young age? Nah, hell no. What time, what age? I think I started like, I was in my 20s when I started. Okay. I was in the studio with, with my friend, Uh, it was me, DZ, and Frenchie. These niggas was doing a record in there. They was doing some shit. And Frenchie's gassing me up to do the record. Like, yo, get on the job. And they actually helped me do that. Actually helped me write the shit. I wasn't doing I wasn't no rapper. I was managing niggas. I was managing them, bringing them around, doing certain shit. I wasn't no rapper. Mm -hmm. But once they helped me do that, they helped me write a couple of the bars, mm -hmm. it was over. I thought that shit was so fire. It was all she wrote from me. I thought I was a rapper. I thought I was a rapper. I wasn't all that good, but I was a rapper. I actually had good shit I was putting together, but it wasn't like the wordplay like I am now. Yeah. It's totally different. But then... But you know, you always gotta work to get somewhere. You know what I'm saying I always was, I never stopped. That's that was my thing, not not stopping. Cause maybe if I'd have stopped, I'd have probably still been uh, mediocre. Mm -hmm. Now these niggas can't fuck with me. Dope. Yeah, dope. They can't fuck with me. So that's how I started though. Why? Right. And I know you be around so much, so much of the real industry shit that's going on. What made like like what gave you the uh, the the knowledge to know that you have to like invest into yourself and like not just out here just putting out tape after tape, like you you actually invest into mad videos consistently mm -hmm. for years now and just the whole brand of it. Like what gave you that mindset? Oh well basically I, I watched Fifth and them do it. Like I was around them Fifth and them, but I watched them do it from like a different first of all it was a different time. So for me to watch them him do it all by himself and like he made out a couple of niggas around but he actually did that shit. Like yeah. he had Yeo yeah, basing them around but he had the idea, he had this the situation where he put it out and he made the shit do what it do. Mm -hmm. So that's how I really watched. He stayed consistent with the mixtapes and all that shit. That was the first tour I ever even been on either to get into that. Wow. Like I was on tour with them. That was a mixtape tour. So okay. he was the first nigga I know. I think he probably was the first artist period that went on tour for mixtapes. Mm -hmm. 
So I, I kind of got that from there, but I also got that from watching the modern day artists do it because nowadays the internet is not like back then. Like back then was footwork. You had to go put that work in like, right. you ain't stomping your feet on the concrete that nigga, you ain't really doing much, you know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. So, but now it's kind of a little different. It's modern day, you gotta actually be on the internet and shit like that. Mm -hmm. So I kind of watch a, lot, a little bit of everything. You know what I'm saying? So I know being from that, learning, getting knowledge, getting knowledge from that situation and other situations, and I'll be like, oh, you know what? This is what need to be done because consistency is what pays off. Like that shit works. If you stay consistent, I don't give a fuck if you whack. It really don't matter what type of artist. That shit, in the long run, they see it. Labels, all that shit, they might want to give you a deal because they see you consistent, man. You consistently putting shit out, music, videos. Whatever, et cetera, whatever it is, you consistent with it. That's what counts. So that's my that's my goal right now is like staying consistent and giving them niggas con giving the world content consistently. Every chance I can get, I right. pull some shit out because well, that's what works basically. That's a fact. That's a mm -hmm. fact. Yeah, that's you just drop some jewels on them with that for sure, yeah. for sure. And um, kind of to go back to the junior days and stuff like that. Like, um, how was that time during that time for Queens? Period. Like when Junior was doing a thing and you was moving city to city with them doing what y'all do like how how was that time back then oh, that shit was like a beautiful thing for us but mind you we was young like me and me and my niggas we was like fucking what 18 19 we was like babies we was the babies around but that shit was just like a great feeling bro like to be that young and experience the shit we experienced going on tour like, I mean, so I'm not just talking about no local shit. Like, we done been, a, like, Passport is crazy. I don't think it's a place I really ain't been. Like, overseas, no, we've been a lot of places. So the experiences, it taught us a lot. But what I'm mad that I didn't take from it is the knowledge and the shit that I could have. Okay. But being so young at the time, we wasn't really thinking about, you know what I'm saying, like music or how can we make another, like, money being, we was just thinking about having fun. Yeah. The bitches touring and living a life, you know what I'm saying? But I still learned a lot from it, but I didn't use it to my advantage then, you know what I'm saying? Okay. In like 2022, the uh, the roles kind of reversed because now you the big homie in your hood. Mm -hmm. Me and I said you probably always was, but now you like really the OG in your hood. You mm -hmm. get respect from all over, all types of states. How do you implement that into like your team that you're building now and, and your young boys that's coming up under you and stuff like respect that. loyalty like my shit i'm big on respect mm -hmm. I'm big on loyalty and shit like that being a good nigga not always just being a wow like that shit come with it like respect is given at the end of the day when you're a real right nigga you know what i'm saying they can see that yeah. once you get that what i do is i give it and i, and I always breathe it with my young boys i always what you say i lead by example basically period whatever i do i'm gonna lead by example because i want them to be leaders i want them niggas to to move accordingly and move right. Mm -hmm. So that's how I do. Like, I don't do nothing like out the ordinary. I always like, everything I do is structure. Mm -hmm. Like my hood, my block, we structure. Like, okay. I, I, I'm i big on that. And like I said, I'm big on loyalty. So like, I learned that from along the way, but loyalty is like my biggest shit. Like loyalty and structure. I like structure in my neighborhood. Like, so my young boys, they respect it. I respect it. Man, we live like that, bro. Like, that's how we do it. What, what? Mm -hmm. um, just to speak on some like some 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 recent past year incidents, you actually just came home not too long ago, correct? Yeah, absolutely. Word, word, and something that because I've been new of you because you and Zeus was locked in, mm -hmm. but um, while and or like during the time you were locked in, you had a clip that was just going viral all over the internet, yeah. like every single page, my mixtapes, this. Yeah, that, absolutely. That, like, you had this clip where you was dropping some knowledge mm -hmm. and. That clip went so viral. Did you, like, uh, when you was in, did you hear the response that uh, yeah. people was, like, you was getting off of that clip and you dropping that knowledge? And could you speak on what you was talking about at that moment? Yeah, basically, I, I I seen the clips, but that shit ain't really hit me until later on because at the end of the day, like, I ain't feel like I was doing nothing that I wasn't supposed to do, you know what I'm saying? Like, that shit just, like, natural. Like, see how I be speaking now? Yeah. I may fuck up on words. I may do this, but it's coming from here. And it's right. coming from here, like... Mm -hmm. Ain't shit altered, like, you know what I'm saying? Everything is, like, organic. Like, we not, we ain't editing nothing. Like, if I fuck up a son, you know what I mean. Like, that's like if you send a text and I spell it wrong, but you know what I mean. Like, that's just what it is, homie. Like, this shit ain't an English class, it ain't none of that. I'm going to say what it is. I'm just, I'm a real nigga. Like, I'm a realist. Like, whatever I say is what I say. And, like, and that's, how, that's how I live life, bro. Like, and like I, and go back to that. I didn't know it was going to go viral, but the thing is, I wasn't saying nothing wrong. I was saying what was going on. 
yep. on everyday life. Like with this internet shit, like it's period. Like we got, for, like I said, it's friends that don't do nothing. Mm -hmm. Like not saying that they had to, but yeah, nigga, you had to. If you my nigga, you should want to. Right. Like period. Like right. it's fucked up. I got to go look on the internet and there's a nigga from uh, Germany showing me more love than mine. You know what I'm saying? Like that shit is big. Like, like. And then you got the, they on your page and they like really not doing nothing. Like what the fuck right. you just watching? You in the story, you you all over the place. Like homie, show the love. Like me, that's what niggas can't say about me. Like I'm a man of my word, homie. I stand on shit. Like you go look at my shit now. I, I probably post things they won't think I'm posting them, but I do that. I don't do that shit for validation. I don't do that shit. I do it cause that's what me, that's me. That's what type of nigga I am, bro. I'm set up that way. I don't want nothing back from you. I don't give a fuck if you never speak to me. If I like it, if I fuck with you, I'm going to show you that. That's all I want to return. What? Like, I ain't asking for much. That shit is nothing. That shit don't cost nothing. Like, mm -hmm. But these niggas make it hard to do this because you know what it is. With a lot of niggas, they be having hidden agendas. Right. A lot of niggas be hating. Like I said that in that new record. Like, a niggas will talk about you when you leave. Oh, this but why? Like, homie, what I do to you? Like, what's your deal? Like, I'm working more than you. Like, what is it? I don't understand it. Like, mm. we all the same nigga. Like, we, we all, like... Human beings, homie. Like, right. niggas just be thinking niggas are tough. Like, I have a heart too. Like, nigga, like, damn, what I do? Like, mm -hmm. so that's how I am, bro. That's just me, son. I'm just like one of those type down to like down to earth niggas, man. I'm just like nigga get to know me. And I, they understand that some niggas that just see it and hear stories and just automatically think, oh, nah, these niggas, nah, get to know niggas. Uh -huh. I'm saying that you see it, like that's well, it though. That's how we do it. It's just so crazy that something, a conversation that was just so natural, mm -hmm. and you just speaking from the heart, could reach the amount of people it reached. Have you ever thought of, like, because you heavy in the rap, it's a lot of rappers that's, like, um, as they're rapping, they're, like, starting podcasts or, like, mm -hmm. making platforms where they're speaking to people. You being somebody that has so much real shit to always say because you experienced it and you just got so much knowledge mm -hmm. as an OG, do, have you ever considered... Having your own podcast or own platform when you're speaking to people and like just giving those jewels on the regular. And I'm saying that to say because how that, cause I see when a lot of shit go viral. That yeah. clip, it was everywhere. Bro. Yeah, absolutely. Like, people yeah. resonated to what you were saying so yeah. much. And I know you, from having conversations with you, you got a lot more of that. Yeah, like I got, I got hella stories. Yeah, I, I thought about that. Mm -hmm. I thought about that, but it's like, it's all timing. I, I, I'm big on timing. Like, if the time is right and the situated situation presents itself yeah. at the right time, then yeah. Right. But that's something I've been thinking about, like period. Because, like I said, I want to do a lot of shit. You know what I'm saying? We just got to find a time to do this shit. Like yeah. when you working and you want to do music and you doing this and you doing that, you got to find a time for all that. And it sure. and it's really hard for a nigga to do it by itself. But you know you do the best you can. Sure. But to get back to what you just said, yeah, hell yeah. I always think about that. I think that's something I want to get into. Yeah, when the time is right, yeah, hell yeah. Podcast, yeah, that's dope. Yeah, yeah, I, yeah. yeah, I won't mind it's doing like, that. You came home and got right to it. Yeah, you absolutely. Really, you ain't waste no time to get mm -hmm. back on your shit. What motivated you to like get back right back to your music, right back to your craft? Well, Were basically, you yeah, we yeah, not. Nah, no incident. It's just that me, like, nigga, like, <laughs> even you gonna go home and do the right thing, or you gonna be right back in here, like, yeah. these niggas could deal with jail. I can't. I'm not gonna lie to you. Jail is not for me, like. I'm not a jail nigga, homie. I'm not a nigga that could go be like, yo, listen, I don't give a fuck. I go, no, I care. Mm -hmm. I got a family, and me going back is just being selfish. That's what's wrong with these niggas out here. They selfish. Mm -hmm. They don't even give a fuck about themselves. So them type of niggas, I don't really be around. I don't give a f Like, go over there, homie, because you's a mm -hmm. pure dummy. Like, what's wrong with you? Like, you want to be in jail? Like, like even when they, get, when they get to talk about the subject with these little niggas, they stupid. And, and the reason why they stupid is that they don't got no guidance. Like. So they just out here reckless doing dumb shit like homie. And then when they get in jail, you a whole different nigga. You out here stomping on these pavements with you in jail, you's a whole bitch. Mm. Like so, that goes back to that. So me coming home doing what I did because I'm like, I'm not going back. So basically that was like that and me not wanting, not wanting to be selfish because I got a family that love me and I love them. Yep. I love my niggas. I love like, that's me, I'm a genuine nigga. So, yep. and I just figured out oh, this is the way to go because I feel I'm good. I don't give a fuck what nobody else feel I don't give, but I feel I'm good enough to, and, and there ain't no age limit. Niggas like, oh, niggas getting, oh, it's no age limit on music, homie. You got two chains, the fabulous. These niggas is grown men. Like, ain't no age limit on this shit, homie. And it's a, and it's a lane for everything. It's a lane for drill. It's a lane for real rap. It's a lane for the singing shit they doing. It's a lane for everything. 
Find, pick your lane and stay in it. I'm not one of them niggas that's going to be f turning 30-something, 40-something and, and say I'm doing drill music. That's not happening. We're not doing that. <laughs> not saying that I won't do some drill shit, but I'm not just automatically changing my whole situation. Yep. Hell no. We're not doing that. Word. I'm going to stick to what I know. And for the, for the most part, it's working for me. Right. That's right. it. Now that's fire. That's yeah, fire. Yeah, gangsta. Um, let's talk about your brand. I don't know if you can explain it or not if you can, because I, like... Top Tiger. Why yeah. you call yourself Top Tiger? I'm big on like, like I, I love cats. Let's start from that. Like okay. I'm a nigga that love cats. Like niggas like this nigga's weird. He love cat, but I love cats. I love big cats. Tigers, lion. I love all that. And I'm big on like stripes. Like mm. I know lions got the eye of a tiger. Mm. I mean, so we. I'm big on that. Like I'm just a cat. And like stripes. I love everything about the tiger. So everything is about the tiger is like me. And my niggas, like my niggas, I, mean, I ain't, I ain't do it by myself. Me and my niggas, like we tigers, we all, you know what I'm saying, we all rep some tiger, we on some tiger shit. You know what I'm saying, top tiger shit in the hood, period. That's hard. So that's what I yeah, okay. yeah. Like we Fly. came from, we was calling each other tigers, and I really love, like, my, I love, I got a cat at home. Like nigga, I, I fuck with the cats. I want a big, I want a, I really want a tiger though. Hopefully when a nigga get rich, I'll get a tiger. Yeah. Nigga ain't rich, but I'm stable though. My Tyson yeah, shit. Nigga word. ain't rich yet, we stable though. Word, word. Let's talk about a few uh, a few of your bros from the hood. Like who 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 else other than you is coming up in Queens that's like um that that could be the next? Um well basically with me, you know DZ, you know, he okay. that's my brother. Like that's the brown boy, yeah. That's my brother, that's G D. But as it goes from that, I got the you got the young boys, you know, you got little you got Rob Meezy. Okay. I like twelve milli. Those are all the young niggas from my hood that's actually rapping, that's like consistent with they shit. Gus. Uh -huh. Who else? Um, Ka. Yeah. Uh, uh, that's a, who else? I really don't, I really don't listen too much, too many other, mm -hmm. other niggas. But my Joker. Mm -hmm. There's a couple, there's a couple of good, good brothers in my hood. Other than that, it's Sauce. Sauce. But there's other niggas in my hood that's good too. Who I like, I like Rick Kwan, but I like real rappers too. You got Joker. Uh, Quan, I you said Quan, my man Illy, he's from down 109. He's pretty good. Um, Ox from L Game. Okay. Who else? I hope I ain't missing nobody. Rico. Yep. Who else? Lou and them, they, they out there. They, they doing what they doing. Mm -hmm. so, Lou and them French, you know, you already know French. Yeah. But yeah, but that's who, like, who's doing pretty good for my hood that I'm, I, I listen to, that I, music that I like and shit like that. Those are the few artists that I like. I right. talk with. Been Latin, oh, a couple yeah, niggas. Uh, who else rap? The girls too. Lil Chase rap, I like him. Who? Which one? Uh, Kaya. The Kaya? Kaya baby, right? Yeah. Oh yeah, she's dope. She's dope. What's the other one though? That that rap. She she been dope. Uh. No, yeah, she nice supreme. She been dope. No, it's another one from Queens. The one that was on Love and Hip Hop. She's pretty good. Mm. I forgot her name. And, 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 and I knew her a long time, but I forgot her name. It's something dope because it's happening in New York right now. Every borough is getting their time. Mm -hmm. So it's like Brooklyn got their time. With they like they they name it Brooklyn drill, New Jersey mm -hmm. drill, Bronx drill, this that or, or whatever genre is coming out. And I feel like Queens time is coming very very soon. Mm -hmm. And it's like it, it's bound. It's Queens like they always we always got the hottest rappers that come. Yeah, out absolutely. Shit like that. But what do you think of? Even with those artists, Queens need needs to do as a whole. Do you think they need to make a sound? Uh, with like them? I was just telling, yeah, I was just telling my young boy today. They do the drill shit. I say, yo, you do the drill shit, but what's gonna separate you from the other drill shit? Right, right. You have to do something different from what other niggas doing. Mm -hmm. Meaning, you got all these niggas, all right, oh, that grumpy loud shit. All right, there's a hundred niggas doing that, homie. Slow down. What are you gonna do that's gonna sound different? Yeah. So I'm big on that. I always tell niggas, find your sound. Even if you get a nigga that do beats, fuck with him and create your own sound. Yeah. If you're going to do drill, do drill. Create your own sound. So exactly. as a whole for Queens, they just got to work together more. Word. Okay. It's, it's, it's a lot of people that don't work together because everybody feel like they in competition. For what? Yeah. The South ain't in competition. Yeah. Brooklyn niggas ain't really be. They probably a little, but they still work together more. Even the Bronx drill niggas, they work together more. What is Queens doing? Like, because you got niggas that's getting on and they not helping. They not saying, yo, you know what? Let me do this. They just like stuck in their ways and they do. That's not good either because you fucking up. You holding everybody else back. If you hot for the moment, be the nigga that be like, be the bigger nigga that be like, you know what? I'm gonna go over here. 
I've been watching this nigga, he's consistent. I'm gonna do something with him. I've been watching this nigga, he's consistent. Let me do something with him. And bring it to a hole because that'll get everybody else on the same board. And once niggas see that, everybody else gonna wanna work. And then everybody else gonna be like, oh, you know what, this is the right thing to do. Because sometimes it takes niggas to do that. You know what I'm yeah. saying? Even if it gotta be me and a couple of niggas, I don't mind doing it. Like, right. I'm a neutral nigga to this shit. I'm going anywhere. Queens, I'm going, I'm pulling up. Mm -hmm. A nigga know me, they know that. You know what I'm saying? So yeah, that's that's what that's what Queens gotta do. They gotta do more music together. Niggas gotta stick together. Instead of doing all this hating, backbite, all this corny shit they doing. Yeah. Do some more with each other, brother. Like, what are we doing? Like, right. most of the time these niggas ain't got no real issues. They be having bullshit beef. Like, homie, do some music. Do something positive with yourselves, nigga. And put Queens on the map. But other than that, it, Queens ain't gonna be in the map if niggas gonna do that. Okay. You may have a nigga that get hot for the moment, he have a couple of records, but it it's just st it stays there. Because they not doing nothing with anybody. Spread that shit out. Spread the love and you know I'm saying do a little bit more. And then you might have more niggas behind you because they little do they know that's what the labels watch too. They wanna see what you're doing, they wanna see the videos, they wanna see who you're around. Yep. They look at it, they be like, oh okay, he's over here. This kid is hot. Oh, he got all these people out. Who is this? That shit look good. Yep. It look good to them people, man. So stick together. What I, what I say, like I said just now, stick together, man. Do, sh do more shit together as a whole, Queens. Right. Please, Queens. Please. Nah, that's Get it together. I think Please. It's the formula that, that it do it. Like, yeah. Or that, that unity. Um, this is a question I ask everybody, you know, and it's not blocking any blessings that's coming, but right now, if you have the choice or even in the coming months, Dale. Or rap deal or no rap deal? Which, which, what's your ideal way to get into the game? It depends. Like it really depends on a on a, on a situation or on a on a deal. Or if, if it, it's no rap deal, then it, I have to be in a real good situation to say, you know what? I don't need that. I don't need the back end. I don't need. You know what I'm saying? Yep. So that that matters. That matters to me. All right, if I'm gonna do a no deal, I gotta be like, nigga, I'm not there yet. I gotta be a nigga that's getting this amount of money for shows. I gotta be a nigga that's getting this amount of money, right. music wise, video wise. Like, if we ain't doing that, then if I get put in a situation where the label could help that, mm -hmm. then I'm gonna go that route. Now, if I'm building it the way I'm building it now and it actually works out for me the way I want it to, then no, no label. I mean, no deal. Okay. Independent. Independent. Absolutely, fine. forever. Nah, nah, if that nah, works, nah. absolutely. But sometimes majors is good, like for that for that major platform, certain shit some for certain situations niggas be need majors though. True. You know what I mean? So if that works out in that in that way, then yeah. True. Mm -hmm. Alright, alright. Um so you got the, the the project that's coming with bro. Anything else coming that the people should look out for, like shows wise? Um basically when we when we when we the mixtape's supposed to be coming out in this month. If it don't, it's gonna be pushing for the first week of July, but it has to come out no later than that. But we doing like three, three, four day uh, show type shit, shows, clubs, whatever we gonna do, yep. it's gonna be set up that way. Yeah. And we doing that. And I wanna try to like set it up to where we actually get it like, whoever we get to do it, I wanted to be able to, to sell it on our own. Like, yeah. all right, listen, this is the barcode. This is, this is how you buy the album. Because when I'm looking at my streams and I look at his stream, these, we all got our own personal fans and personal niggas that watch, watch us. So, so say we uh, put the album together and we sell it for ten dollars. A thousand niggas, you do the math at ten dollars. That's like, what is that? Right. So we get three, four thousand niggas. I'm looking at my shit. I got four thousand streams on this, thousand streams on this too. We get all them niggas that's watching these streams to buy these albums. That's good money. Mm. I'm trying to find a way and who I could talk to to figure that out that way. Mm. But I'm pretty sure it's niggas out here. If you listen to this, nah, tap that's, in. That's a yeah. way to go. It because yeah. some people think like you need a hundred thousand people to know about you, but if no. you have a thousand people that's your fans and yeah. fuck with you, at ten dollars a pop, hundred racks right there. Good, that's that's man. eating good. That's all right for me. Good. I'm comfortable, nigga. I ain't greedy. I ain't nobody. Yeah, that's good money. That's Shit, me. Yeah, uh, that yeah. could work though. It, it works. We can get that to work out like that. Then yeah, that's how we want to do it. Like do it ourselves that way. Right. Yeah. And we had some behind the scenes talk. You got some merch about to drop pretty soon too. Yeah, the Top Tiger merch. Yeah, hell yeah. And, and, and with the following, you got the Queens. The whole Queens will be wearing that. Yeah, shit, huh? merch. Merch is big too. Merch it's making big. money off merch. Merch is big. Merch is big. What? Merch changing niggas' lives. I see merch changing niggas' lives. Like, what? merch can do it. Good quality. Mm -hmm. Shirts, hats. Get this shit together. Right. Yeah, so that we doing that. 
We're gonna get that together. We got the LLC for everything. We straight. Yo, uh, I'm definitely seeing it moving, man. You got mm -hmm. a lot going on. Straight from the come home and absolutely shit popping for real, for real. Yeah, I'm not stopping. Word. Where could people like find you at and all of that? I'm on all. I'm on all streaming platforms. All of them. Tidal, Apple, Spotify. Mm -hmm. What you got shit? Facebook. I don't know for what you on. Facebook, Snapchat, <laughs> IG, nigga. We up, up, up there. Huge catalog of videos. YouTube videos, music. We just put out Birdie. Birdie's the first single of the uh, Golden Era um, mixtape with me on uh, DZ. Mm -hmm. Birdie, you know what I'm saying? We be getting spins on the radio. DJ Self, shout out to Self. Dope. He been showing love. Dope. Brooklyn nigga showing Queens love. Know what I'm saying that's always motherfucking appreciated. So yeah, that's what we doing, man. Like I said, Birdie first uh, single. We got a couple of shits. We got uh, Vibes out right now. That's off the uh, Golden Era. Uh, they say that song for the ladies. They love that. Dope. Niggas love that, and that's it, man. We got me. See, we doing videos. We just did one. Facts. So this shit don't stop. This stop. shit do not stop. And it's like you really growing this shit, like because with all the connections you got, it seems like you can just pick up your phone and like. Yo, bro, this is happening, this is happening, which you probably do or you don't, but, mm -hmm. like, you really building this shit up to a to a level to where you can have a lot of leverage in a few months. Absolutely. Basically, what I'm doing with that, like you just said, like, having people to call, I'm trying to, like, hold off on calling and asking for favors until them niggas see, like, nah, this nigga is really consistent and he's really working. Because mm -hmm. it's showing, like, I'm not going to, like, look, it's there. So once they see that, I might not even have to do that. They may be the ones, yo, listen, job, what you doing? Nah, for real. You know what I'm saying? Like I said, show the consistency and show the work. I don't want nigga to give me nothing for free. Mm. You know what I'm saying? I'm going to go work for it. Mm. Hard, hard. Mm -hmm. And like, let's just talk legacy for a little bit. Years down the line, years down the line. Because it's a lot of people that came out of Queens, and not to keep it in Queens, but... It's a lot of people that came out of Queens and they're known for this, they known for that. What do you want your legacy to be for, be about for Queens, like when people talk about dropping? Uh, stand up, you know what I mean? Stand up. Dude. A real stand up nigga. Uh, Good music, loving, loyalty, and like uh, just like an all around. Nigga, that's like, all right, when nigga be like, yo, let's Jaffia, he was a good nigga. Matter of fact, he was a great nigga. He did this, he did that, mm. and he made sure everybody was all right. You know right. what I'm saying? So, yeah, shit like that. That's dope, bro. Shit like that. Once again, thanks for tapping in with us. Coming it's a pleasure. Over to state to come do the exclusive interview. Absolutely. We appreciate that, bro. Rat deals, nigga. Big Yo, deal. Let's go. Yeah. Talk about it, my nigga.